Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, says she is grateful that a British tabloid is being held accountable for what she calls dehumanizing practices. That's how you say that word. This follows a court ruling. Stop it, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> this follows, that was my bad. This follows a court ruling that the owner of the Mail on Sunday newspaper and DailyMail.com violated her right to privacy by publishing a very personal letter that she wrote to her dad after she married Prince Harry. As Charlie Daggett reports, the case shows how privacy laws in Britain are very different from the U.S. In a stunning legal victory for the Duchess of Sussex, a high court judge ruled that publishing extracts of that letter was a manifestly excessive and thus unlawful breach of privacy. In a statement, Meghan called the decision a comprehensive win. For these outlets, it's a game. For me and so many others, it's real life, real relationships, and very real sadness. The damage they have done and continue to do runs deep. What we're seeing is London becoming the privacy capital of the world. Media lawyer Mark Stevens said the ruling underscores the growing schism between British and American privacy laws. Had it been published in the U.S., he says Meghan wouldn't have had a case. I think what it'll mean is that American media have an advantage. They'll be reporting more. The public will learn more. And citizens from this country are going to start looking at the American media in order to get the unvarnished news. The case centered on a personal letter published in the Mail on Sunday newspaper from Meghan to her estranged father, Thomas Markle, after his no-show at her royal wedding, where she accused him of breaking her heart for talking to British tabloids. The judge's ruling avoids what might have been a messy public trial, pitting Meghan against her father in court. I know at Buckingham Palace, um... There is relief because th they never wanted this to go all the way to trial because it would have put Meghan on the stand, royal aides on the stand, and what would have come out then potentially would have been incredibly damaging. Now, it's an open question whether this will serve as a warning shot to other British media and the largely negative coverage of the couple. As for the publishers, they say they're surprised and disappointed by the decision and they're considering an appeal. Gail? All right, Charlie Daggett, thank you. I thought Megan made a really good point when she said, for some, this is a game, but for me, it's real life. Yes. A lot of damage has been done. One part of the ruling seemed to say that Megan had the right to expect privacy in a letter that, she, a personal letter that she wrote to her dad. Yeah. The privacy laws in England are very strict. Yeah, it'll yeah. be interesting to see yeah. if this, is, this will be a game changer. Thank you again, Charlie Daggett, reporting from London.